Good morning, church. Good to be with you again today. Today we started part one of two in the Song of Solomon and finished up Ephesians. And the Song of Songs is really um, an interesting book. It's, I believe, one of two in Scripture, this one in Esther, that actually don't mention God at all. There's no, um, no talking about him. But we certainly do know what Solomon is talking about in this book. What is a big takeaway? I don't want to get too uh, down the rabbit trail in this. But number one, uh, we see that kind of romantic love, the courting of an engaged couple, their marriage union, the life of a husband and wife is delightful. And that it's good for us to delight and the wife of our youth is the word scripture often uses and um and no matter where we are in life even if there's been a divorce and a remarriage we can come back to the song and get reminded of what it means to just really delight and enjoy the one that um, god has given to us to be with there is one verse that i wanted to look at in here Verse 15, chapter 2. Catch the foxes for us, the little foxes that ruin the vineyards, for our vineyards are in bloom. You know, over there, they they did have these little, their little foxes, and they could get under fences, and they could burrow in, and they would burrow up the, you know, the vegetables and dig around trees, and they could ruin gardens. So they had to watch out and be on guard, especially for them. And then there are a reality that there's these little things that can get in to our lives and into our relationships with our um, the one that we're supposed to be loving the most next to God, our closest neighbor, our wife, or our husband. And they begin to erode that relationship if we're not careful. So the encouragement today out of the Song of Solomons is guard that relationship well. Don't let the little foxes come in and ruin what God has blessed, the union that he has joined together. And it is a a matter of vigilance, just like a close friendship, just like our relationship with God. A good relationship with our spouse is not an accident. It didn't just happen but rather it is uh, cultivated as a garden. It is raised up with much intentionality by loving our neighbor, and indeed our spouse is our closest neighbor as ourself, and even more than. And Paul's teaching in chapter 5 about husbands and wives, that circle of submission where husbands love the wife as Christ loved the church, the wife serves and submits to the husband. This is going to generate, that's what's going to generate a good, strong fence against those little foxes. And church, I would, those of us that are, are married and listening to this, I would have you have strong and, and healthy marriages because that is a good foundation against all sorts of other trouble and trials in this life. And we are reminded again in Ephesians 6 that it is a war. Verses 10 to 20, very famous. Reread those. Pray on the armor of God regularly. Gird yourself up because it is a real spiritual battle. And because we've talked about the importance of that marriage relationship, God wants that defended and our enemy would love nothing more than to tear that down and to see that despair settle in. And so, church, I'm praying for you today. I'm praying that you would gird yourself in this spiritual armor and that we would live our lives good in service. For those of us married listening, take heart. The fun message of Song of Songs. For those of us not married or might be considering it yet, Take the woman's words to heart. Don't awaken love before it's due time. And always honor the one who would be your spouse, waiting until that day of marriage to fully delight in each other. 
Love you, church, and I look forward to talking to you soon again.